We fully understand and appreciate the need for robust sea defence measures. We understand that. What we can't understand is how Conway County Borough Council went about the current sea defence works going in place as I speak. Not enough research was done into all the options. We know that. Um, they say that measure things, ideas have to be modelled out. Well, can I see the modelling out, please, for what they're undertaking as we speak? Where's the modelling out for the wooden groins that we'd like to see reinstated? Um, there's several other options which should have been researched, modelled out, appraised, costed out, placed in front of the council and members of the public and say, well, these are the options on the table. These are the, this is the effect of each option. These are the time scales each option will take and put everything on the table and be transparent and upfront. That has not happened. When you, when you take into account that, say, Clandon No Town Council uh, had an email sent to them on the 11th of March, informing them that the works would be taking place. The Clandidno Town Councillors, as I understand it, were not able to be informed until the 12th of March and the work started on the 13th. That is not consultation, that is not dialogue, that's not gaining the opinion of the town. It's been lax in the extreme. The wooden groins that were on North Shore Beach for generations worked. We know they worked. Civil engineers can come into the town and have as many qualifications behind their name as they like. People who have lived in the town with knowledge, worked on the seas like the lifeboat for 40 years, they know more about the workings of the North Shore Bay than any of these contractors that may be coming into town, any of the architects. That doesn't seem to be taken account of. If it was heard, it wasn't listened to. Um, the, the groins, the wooden groins, acted as a sea defence measure in breaking up the tidal flow, the tidal path. We know it works, not just in Clandidno, but around the coast of the United Kingdom, including Eastbourne, who are currently um, um, putting shingle on their beach in between the wooden groins. Their shingle in, in Eastbourne is completely different than Sanded No North Shore. You can see it on YouTube, what they're doing. It is amazing. Why wasn't that option looked at? Everything that's been going on with the North Shore since we had a storm on December the 5th has been ill thought out, panic stations, there is something more and bigger to this story. It's not just about the 50,000 tonnes of rocks that have been currently dumped. There's a far, far bigger story here that goes way beyond what we're, what we're talking about right now. We would like all options that are available looked into, researched, costed out, put on the table, we would like a lot, most people, just well, almost everybody we talk to says reinstate the wooden groins. The wooden groins are effective. They break up the tidal flow, they act as a sea defence measure and they hold the sand in place. A few months ago, um, the council moved a thousand tonnes of sand from, North Shore, from West Shore to North Shore. Within three or four tides, that thousand tonnes had gone. The reason is, there's nothing to hold it there. As we speak, there's nothing to hold it there. So we need an appraisal of the wooden groins. The council of the day, because this has been going on for, for decades, the council of the day have neglected the wooden groins and in the, was it the early 90s, they removed them completely. By doing that, they caused the town enormous problems. We have the original plans from Sir Cyril Kirkpatrick from 1937. We have the basis from which to go on to replace the wooden groins. We were told many years ago when I was serving on Abercrombie Borough Council that the replacement of the wooden groins would be environmentally unfriendly and not cost effective. 
not cost effective. 1.514 million pounds is currently being spent through grant funding to put 50,000 tons of rocks on the beach. A beach on December the 5th, that all that happened, and I haven't seen any evidence and nobody's produced any evidence of any other, any damage to North Shore Promenade. All that happened, the stones came on the beach. 1.514 million pounds. The Gamway Beach was decimated. They got 64,000 pounds. Work hasn't even started. There's something not right here. Conway County Borough Council, can I just clear up as well that this is not the fault of Flandidno Town Council, this is not the p fault of Conway Town Council because the name Conway takes people in different directions and I think it's only fair that both the town councils uh, are made aware that we understand it's not their fault, it's Conway County Borough Council which is different. Um, the lack of public consultation is jaw-droppingly bad. This has been willfully and wantingly thrown out of the window in order for Conway County Borough Council to bully their way through any public consultation whatsoever. The marine license, which I've got here, shows without any shadow of a doubt that they have ridden roughshod over everything. Everything needed to do the works. It's all here, it's all in black and white, so I can read it to you. This is just, it's a scandal. It's an absolute scandal. No public consultation, no environmental study, no, no advertising of the works. Everything you read, there's tick boxes, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, and all we got is no, 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 uh, such as please detail all consents you have applied for. Local plan of authority, no. Landowner authority, Crown Estates, no. Local park, port or harbour authority, no. Environmental agency, no. Other including transport works order, no. Has it been advertised, no. Public consultation, no. Public meetings, no. Have the public been invited to submit co comments, no. Have any consultation meetings with the public been arranged? No. This is an absolute scandal. That's, that's the document, that's the marine document that's allowed them to do what they've done. Do you know what, do you know what gets me? Is you've got no, 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 but they still got the money. How the heck have they still got the money? It completely beggars belief. And the money comes from your pocket my pocket and the pockets of the people who are hard-earning, working people and they're already talking about trying to get 20 to 40,000 pounds grant for a feasibility study to look at how to make the North Shore right and as I speak the wagons are still dumping hundreds of tons of rocks on the beach while they're trying to find funding to put it right while they're still making it wrong and you've got the, a slipway being built by venue company which is great for the sailing club and that's been done by a different contractor than the ones that have been dumping the rocks and this new contractor is having to dig away tons of rocks in order to put the slipway down the lack of it's left hand and right hand not knowing what they're doing it is appalling and it annoys me personally that the officers of the council and getting paid with our money the councillors there's 59 of them on Conway County Borough Council they're there to serve us they are letting the public down the public own the council it belongs to the public they serve us they work for us they are legally bound morally and duty bound to listen to us not just listen to us but act on what we ask and what we say what we want to do is work in partnership in conjunction with the council we want to have dialogue with them we want them to be open and frank with us and we want them to put their hands up in the air and say Listen, we messed up here. We messed up. And we're going to work with you as Restore Our Beach Group and everybody else concerned and try and make this right. But it's not a quick fix. I would add that I'm sad. And I'm sad for Flandidno because what's happening is not helping tourism it is helping to destroy 
tourism. The comments we get. The thing about social media is people are able to make comments instantly. They don't have to go home and think about it, write a letter, put it in an envelope, put a stamp on it. If they are motivated by feelings at a moment in time, by walking along the prom, they can instantly do it. And the feedback we're getting, it makes me sad. I'm born and bred in Clandidno and to see the North Shore decimated without properly assessing all the options and helping to destroy tourism is appalling. It makes me sad as a local man to see people bullying, riding roughshod and destroying the jewel in the crown of the Welsh seaside resorts. There's another reason why they're doing that. There's a very, very big reason why they're doing what they're doing. And that will all be revealed in the fullness of time.